Mantecai, and it's an honor for me to be here for the Commonwealth SDG Global Forum 2020. And we can talk about conservation and the way we work with CSR. The way I started Chamakai was with the intention to create a very pure mind. I want to create a line that would be healthy, that would not use any toxic ingredients, that would not use the kind of preservative that we use currently. We were the first line to work with stem cells of plants. Stem cells are extraordinarily interesting on a conservation level because you use very little water. It uses incredibly less water than growing plants and using the ground and earth every day. So we have already an advantage on conservation using stem cells. Then it's incredibly more active. It works, as you know, on uh, the mitochondria of everybody's stem cells themselves, and it helps us get stronger and get healthier. We are very concerned about the earth, and we are very concerned about the environment. We are passionate about the wild space and keeping um, really spaces for human and for wild animals. We are using our company as a base to be able to talk about the problems that are happening around the world with animals. Should it be elephant or should it be pangolin or should it be animals that are under the ocean? We have been doing this for the last 14 years basically and raising awareness to our customers. So using cosmetic to talk about the earth and how to conserve the animals that inhabit it is a fantastic thing. And we have a great pleasure at being able to do this for our company. On the level of protecting the earth, we have been able to use, for example, the idea of one lipstick, one tree planted. We've been planting 60,000 trees last year in Kenya. We are continuing this plantation and we'll probably achieve the double that amount this year. What we do is we believe that the best way to protect the earth is to stop CO2, obviously. So protecting the wild forests that exist and making sure they do not get destroyed is another part of this. But planting trees is very important as well. On another level, we are part of a global organization which is changing the way micas are mining. You know, in cosmetic, we use mica. It's a little reflecting material that is in many products, eyeshadows, uh, bronzers, many things. They have been for a long time mined in non-sustainable way by very small children, and that's not acceptable. So we joined an organization which will completely bind child labor by 2022. And all our uh, manufacturers of all these uh, parts of cosmetics are adhering to the same organization. On another level, we also use something called fair wild plants. For example, in our lipstick, we're using baobab oil. And these baobab oil are taken from a country in Africa, and they are taken very sustainably. What it means um, is that the ingredient is harvested not too much of it, so not everything is taken. The people who are harvesting are paid a fair wage. The country that exports it is only taken the amount they want, and there is no middleman paid in this job. And it, all the money is going to the people who are usually quite poor who harvest these plants. Uh, we do this for five different ingredients, and it's something we like to continue. It's called Fair Rock. It's an international trade rock that is created by uh, WWF. Another part is using in packaging uh, sustainable paper. So we use recycled paper as much as we can. And most of our packaging is in glass, which is very easy to recycle. And we also offer for the plastics that we have ways to recycle. We are very sorry to have to use plastic and working hard toward the elimination of it. We believe that plastic is a disaster for our planet and has to be eliminated as much as possible. So these are the main factors that we are doing right now. And we continue that every day we find new ways of getting purer, cleaner. Our formula are very clean, 
and every day everything is getting the most clean you can have. Thank you for inviting me. I'm very excited to be in Taiwan, even on camera, and being able to, to speak with the Taiwanese people that are very close to my heart. Thank you very much.